name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Well, race number eight is over 1400 meters and this is where everything will close off at Hollywood Bet's Gravel and hopefully everything's going according to plan if you're an exotic player. Well, whatever bet you've taken on the day, bright future, merit rated 88 handicap. We mentioned the distance is seven furlongs. Let's bring up the field. And our banker of Austria and the place accumulator uh, just wanted to have some cover in the pick six, but the runner is number six, Prince of Taranto, Warren. And you were just telling me off air that this is a runner that you really like on the day. He's going for three on the bounce. He's coming off a short two-month break. No issues with the poly track. No issues with uh, the distance. Got a jockey that knows him very well. And although he's carrying 61 kgs, I don't see that as an issue. Party time coming to to win from the four man of his last start. He looks like the horse that looks the right horse in the field. For cover in the pick six, I've only picked out one more horse and uh, yeah, a horse that hasn't won for a long time. We've seen uh, the stable have a winner with a horse that didn't win for over a thousand days on Monday called Royal Kitty. And there's another horse, not as long, but I mean, he's, he's just battling to put his head in front, Ralph the Rascal. But the signs were there last time out that it could be just around the corner when they fitted him with blinkers. Yeah, he can't give you all the confidence in the world. He's not a horse that you're going to go big on, but he's a horse that you will consider for exotics because one day he's going to get it right. So I'm going to go six Prince of Taranto in the PA for the pick six, uh, the GTV. So I'm going to suggest number three, Ralph the Rascal. But if you convince me otherwise, we may take a chance and bank on the six because you like it a lot. These, you know, we've submitted our short lists before uh, the show and we certainly haven't copied one another but you'll see that I've suggested Prince of Taranto as a place accumulator banker and the way we're both talking you know we could for those that have got lesser budgets which is like the most of us uh, we could possibly banker Prince of Taranto he's only had 15 starts he's already won five races um, placed eight times he loves the poly he loves Musi Yeni and yeah, he, he, he got four points for his last win. And like you, I know that you look at a horse like Metallic Gold is going to come into the race with very, very light weight. I'm still happy with Prince of Taranto. He's a lovely big son of Crusade. He's owned by Gerard de Roval, Neil Butcher, Robert Mangard, Michelle Narak, Tony Riverland, and Patrick and Fenella Riverland. So they'll be happy with him. And, and yeah, I, I don't see any reason why he can't reel off the hat trick. Um, You've gone with number four, uh, number three, Ralph the Rascal, as your second choice. I'm going to go with number four, Spirit of My Fate, as my second choice. Mm. But really, I, 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 I'm quite big on Prince of Taranto, like you are. And Muzi Yeni, well, he'll be looking to make it three in a row on this handsome son of Crusade. Okay, you got our numbers there for the last race. We're going to lead with number six, Prince of Taranto. Three, Ralph the Rascal, and four, Spirit of My Fate, if you're looking for cover. What we're going to do is I want to urge you, if you're listening into race number eight and the preview to this race, please listen into the shortlist. Because uh, during our break, before we get to record the shortlist, both Warren and I are going to have a discussion on how we're going to structure this pick six. We've given you the numbers, but we're going to try and make it an affordable perm for you not too expensive, and you can use it as a skeleton perm along with your number. So listen into that short list, which will be coming up next. I say coming up next. Well, it can be coming up anytime because you're on YouTube. You can click on it anytime, but please listen into that short list if you want to follow the GTV Pick 6. Uh, Warren, it's been an absolute blast and uh, looking forward to Wednesday. Absolutely. These, any racing we look forward to, we've been treated to some thrilling racing, thrilling finishes. We just love it. It's a part of our daily lives. Yeah, and I see it's feature season now that's hotting up down in Cape Town. I think it's the Matcham Stakes and the Diana Stakes uh, over the weekend. I see the Summer Cup first entries are already out as well. So plenty to look forward to from the other provinces during their feature race season. But from Warren and Ferner, the GTV team and myself, Dees Diana. Until we meet again, you take care. Salani Gashle.
It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.